super moist, very easy to make, and delicious oven roasted turkey with gravy. Coming up. To begin, we are making a mirepoix by roughly cutting up four carrots. In this particular recipe, we are not peeling the carrots or the onions as we're not going to eat them. We're going to drain them later on. We just want the flavor they're going to provide to the gravy. Two yellow onions. And four celery stacks. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure you wash your vegetables. Now, place the mirepoix at the bottom of your roasting pan. And set it aside. In a food processor, add in two rosemary stems. a couple of branches of fresh thyme. Two branches of fresh sage. A splash of extra virgin olive oil. A pinch of salt and black pepper. Add in the zest of two lemons. Squeeze both lemons into the food processor. Add in one full head of garlic. And blend it all in. After a couple of minutes, this is done. Let's move on to the next step. In a mixing bowl, add in two sticks of butter. Pour the marinade over the butter. Add in two tablespoons of kosher salt. I know it sounds like a lot of salt, but trust me, you need it black pepper to taste. Now with a fork we're going to mash it all up. Make sure that you use softened butter. Here we have a 13 and a half pound turkey. My turkey came with a pop-up timer. We're going to test it out and see if it actually works. Remove the bag of gizzard and the neck. With a paper towel, pat it dry. We want the turkey to be completely dried out. With your fingers, get underneath the skin. And do not use anything sharp to do this. You can use a spatula or your fingers. It is quite easy. We need to create room to insert the butter. Once you're done with the bottom part, turn the turkey around and do the same thing around the neck area. Go inside with your finger, and the skin is pretty tough so it shouldn't break. And slowly but surely, you create some room inside the turkey's skin. 
season the inside cavity with a pinch of salt and black pepper to taste. Now insert the flavored butter inside the turkey skin. Use the rest of the butter and rub it all around the turkey, back and front. Stuff the turkey with two pieces of onion from our mirepoix, a piece of carrot, and some celery. a branch of fresh sage two branches of fresh rosemary now we're going to secure the legs together by tying them together Add the neck and gizzards to the bottom of the roasting pan. Tuck the wings behind the turkey and transfer the turkey onto a wire rack inside the roasting pan. Rub the rest of the butter onto the turkey. Add one cup of chicken stock to the bottom of the pan. A splash of extra virgin olive oil. The olive oil will prevent the butter from burning. One last sprinkle of kosher salt and black pepper to taste. Roast at 325 degrees until the internal temperature has reached 165 degrees. That's roughly about 15 minutes per pound. And if everything goes according to plan, your turkey would look like this. At 13 pounds, my turkey took about three hours. The pop-up timer was pretty accurate. It did pop up once the internal temperature was at 165 degrees. Baste the turkey and let it rest for about 20 minutes to half an hour before digging in. Let's move this bird onto a platter so we can make our gravy. And while the turkey is resting, let's go ahead and make the gravy. In a pan over medium heat, add in two tablespoons of butter. quarter of a cup of flour, give that a mix until the flour cooks off about two minutes, add in two cups of chicken stock, add everything from the roasting pan into the pot.
we're going to cook it up for about 20 minutes. Now we drain the gravy. Set the fire to medium low and let it simmer. After simmering for about 5 to 7 minutes, the gravy has thickened up and we are almost ready to eat. And there you guys have it, super moist, easy to make, delicious roasted turkey with gravy. Enjoy! Buen provecho!